see how uh, Bobby's training kind of answers back here, because Esfat's definitely been putting in work, uh, not only in general, but against Bobby Big Devils. All right, so it looks like we're going to jump into it right away, uh, starting here on Dreamland. Oh, Esfat opens up with a big crouch cancel grab. Oh, this punish right here, you see the confident tech days. Oh, uh, <laughs> confident <Esfet>. back air. <laughs> A little too confident at that you know? one. <laughs> yeah, he really was confident. <laughs> oh, and think... look at this opening here. Oh, I love the down air attempt. It doesn't work, but sometimes you got to go for those big gambles like there. And he actually doesn't even get punished for it, so. Yeah, okay. not too bad. Bobby kind of like went for something wild. If he gets it, he's up huge, right? And and that's kind mm. of like the benefit of, of going for a gamble like that. And here's the downside of it is that if it doesn't work, you, you kind of go back to even, right? So it was a good time for a big gamble, I think. <laughs> oh, just barely dodges the full hop down there, and once again, kind of a pseudo SD, kind of gets pushed off and air dodges. All right, so three stocks to two. Bobby holding out a bit of a lead here, and he gets to shine out a shield here. Oh, the laser not quite low enough, but he finds the approaching dare. Bobby popping off a little bit. Uh, that shorten was interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he meant to side B, right? As a, I don't know if yeah. he's close enough to SD, so, I mean, maybe if you're not sure, you just shorten to make sure. Maybe the you Mega just Christmas panic match. Let that run, you know? <laughs> yeah, he actually does it to tech check. He does fourth those side B, and, you know. Nope, he just does it. He just feels it, you know? <laughs> when you're feeling it. Ooh. Oh, he gets the F throw. Great follow-up there to catch the tech in place. But he doesn't. Have, he's not able to close out the stock. Yeah, good. So hop pushes into the corner. Oh, tries Ooh, to chase I, side B with side B. Yep. That was really cool to go for the roll too. Also, because not only do you avoid the mm. hitbox, but you get closer to be able to punish. So I really yep. like that choice. Ooh. Okay. That's, that's not the, feeling confident off stage. That's that's the cowboy trick shot. You up throw and then you fall on them with a single hit up air. Uh, <laughs> the story behind that one is that the Australian player Sora used to have the tag cowboy and he came up with that, and he thought he invented it, and then found out that SFAT had been doing it for years and was very sad, but kept the name <laughs> Cowboy Trick Shot. So. <laughs> and I'm just fully bought into this, so. <laughs> Ooh, he catches the side B. Oh, and he catches the up E. Bobby closing it out after looking a little bit tricky there early on, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, really good stuff. Yep, so that was pretty nutty. I think that the, Bobby looks really good. Sometimes it's not necessarily about like, ooh, what specific adaptations did he make to SFAT to defeat him right here? That looked to me like he was just playing cleaner overall, mm -hmm. made fewer mistakes. Mm -hmm. And over the long run in competition, that oftentimes is the difference maker. It's like, who's got the better hands today, you know? <laughs> and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Bobby especially is one of the guys who, that's often how he beats people is just by having the better hands, having the mm -hmm. like tech skill consistency and speed to just like, overrun people and he's just slowly been creeping up in level to the point where he can now do that to players like s fat where he's just like mm -hmm. i'm just faster and more technically consistent than you on this day which is something that like s fat is faster and more technically consistent than most players every day you know <laughs> so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so i think we need to see s fat kind of clean things up a little bit he did have a uh, one sd um that was like pretty awkward so if he can play a little more consistent he might be able yep. to just close this out anyway yeah oh, kind of two sd'd he sd'd with a falling back air and then he sd'd with a slide off air dodge so true um, true yeah we'll see if oh looking in firm control now but you got to close it out it, it leads like this feels so frail in this matchup and against this player oh with combos like these but no okay it doesn't quite get the conversion man they're just teching everything back and forth both of them got hit like five times, and Bobby's the first one to find the edge guard. And the first edge guard attempt is successful right now. You'll love to see that as these players really are like taking everything and pushing it far. Bobby clearly really prioritizing center stage here. I think that's a big deal. Um, you see that once he gets caught in the corner, he's playing very conservatively to force his way back to center. So I, I really like to see that recognition. Uh, here he gets caught with a standing laser, and SFAT's able to convert. Yeah, it's funny because Bobby used to be the like. I mean, he still kind of is, but he, he definitely used to be more of this identity of, like, the crazy wild player who kind of does anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, he especially looks like that when he thinks the set is won. But when he's fighting, mm -hmm. ooh, the stitch laser just kills over here. <laughs> but mm -hmm. when he's fighting players, like, like really high-level players, and he's kind of, like, playing to win, he, he becomes this very controlled player where he plays for center stage a lot, plays conservatively from bad spots, full hops at the top platform, has good mix-ups from there and stuff. So 
been mm -hmm. cool to see his evolution because he he is a player who's kind of like kept his roots of just being like really fast mm -hmm. and crazy um while kind of adding the necessary optimizations that high level mm -hmm. calls for yeah he even in those sets where he's playing like the really good player right he's still fast and crazy from strong positions but he's just more conservative from the less good spots oh these lasers nice. they're edge guarding are just perfect that one was even trickier because it hits like late <laughs> like sometimes the laser goes under fox and then it hits like once it's halfway traveled through him and it's really hard for fox to act frame perfectly at oh the speed oh my god get... suicide death a double run off down it does do it oh man when you get those side, side b edge cancel. cancel combos that's one of the best feelings as a falco dude like oh converts it and into did... the up tilt he yeah, got that good. Oh my god, I'm losing it. That was actually <laughs> so insane. To go for that up tilt there, like, so many players are going to be going, like, run off. Like, 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 they do the side B, and then they follow up with a run off into something. Yeah. Or, at the very least, like, they're going for, like, a shine to, like, instantly get a hitbox out. But yeah. just the cognizance to recognize where SFAT is and where you're going to be and go for the up tilt, that was... The where with <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the execution, right? Because it's another one right, of those right. things where it's just like a lot of players do that a little slow and then they get their shield up. But Bobby's just flying across the stage, confidently converts it all the way to the kill. So, damn. Yeah, and then just to be ready for that that kill setup too, right? Like that wasn't a particularly easy kill to get after the up tilt. Um, yeah. Especially when you have to recognize what you just did. So, mm -hmm. really good stuff yeah. for Bobby. He's up 2 0 already. Yeah, that's crazy. He's just looking so clean right now. And I think, like, in terms of adaptations that he's made from the previous sets, it's it's more of not doing the things that he was getting red for before. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big ones that we talked a lot about before was his full hops to the top platforms, which he still does, but he's not getting red for them right now. He's kind of doing a, a little bit more grounded play before he kind of opts for that. And, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, any option is going to work if it's not predictable. And Bobby just looks way less predictable than he has in the past while maintaining mm -hmm. really clean movement. Yeah, I, I think a lot of it is, like, he looks more comfortable from the corner, right? Because, like, what SFAT was doing is he was pushing to the corner and then punishing his, like, panic option out. Yeah. And now Bobby looks like he's much more willing to play from the corner before reclaiming uh, yeah. an advantageous position. It's like before he would full hop down air as a panic option, now he's full mm -hmm. hop down airing as a choice option, right? So, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Oh, so the me. Mega Christmas, the Mega Christmas, <laughs> that was it, that was it. Don't say anything. That's not the Mega Christmas. Come on, Squid! Santi. Santi has talked a lot about the laser side B, and he's just like, it's unreactable, no one can beat it. <laughs> Shoutouts to Santi. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Talk about okay. punishing panic options in the corner. The rules have mm -hmm. reversed as now SFAT's the one who just did a ledge hop aerial or just empty ledge hop, I'm not sure. And you get four smash for it. A little uncharacteristic as SFAT normally has the confidence to sort of ledge dash every single time, right? So, a little shook there, SFAT looks. Mm -hmm. Don't know but why I turned really into good Yoda comeback there. here. He actually got the SDI on the pillar combo, and that was what he was able to open up. Bobby's been doing a great job of avoiding that up till now, but here, oh. Okay, Bobby gives it up. Yeah, that was a tricky edge guard to. No, no use taking a big risk there just to close that mm -hmm. uh, from a good position. So, great laser catches the downward angle, but no, uh, Sfat is able to find the ledge. Oh, oh, shield. Shield oh, this could be the the oh, the momentum swing if he had that into a huge conversion into a zero to death. But even when he gets the grab, SFAT looking a little shaky right now. So sometimes whoever has the better hands that day, you know? <laughs> yep. And okay, the lasers again looking really strong. Great shortened by SFAT. But again, not that confident coming off yep. the ledge. And Bobby punishes with a nair into the corner. Two yep. stocks to one. Soft nair is just going to lead to the kill there. Bobby had racked up enough damage. Sometimes it feels okay. really bad to kill your opponent 170, and sometimes it feels fine because you've just dealt that damage kind of easily, right? Like, he's just kind <laughs> of racked up the damage without getting reversal too much. And uh, even Bobby's still finding reversals on the hits at 110. Cool. Bobby goes for that nice down air. It, you can get it late, and it, like, takes a really hard read to punish. Mm -hmm. But S not able to weather the storm. Steals ledge, forces last stock. Bobby looking really clean, but SFAT's now in last talk situation, and he breaks this back to shine! Just kills! And suddenly SFAT has a propensity to just bring it back all the way here, because that is how it starts, you know? You start to crumble just a little bit, you show one crack, and that's how these, some, some of these top players will just pounce on you, right? You, you give them an mm -hmm. inch, so... Bobby has mm -hmm. to really keep his cool here and not be the one to get shook mm -hmm. after that, because, I mean, he's looking so good, he has every reason mm -hmm. to stay confident right now. 
Yeah, I think so. I will say that um, one thing there was that SFAT went into a very full hop oriented game plan uh, in those last couple stocks, and it felt like Bobby was having a little bit of trouble. Um, that only gets more scary when you have more options with the mm -hmm. platforms. So I'm actually a little bit worried for Bobby in this scenario, even though that was such a razor's edge. Yeah, um, yep. He's going to have to find those answers. It felt like SFAT was, uh, pulled the, the, his foot off the gas a little bit and mm -hmm. was willing to play a little bit more defensively. Um, and, and that seemed to be tripping up Bobby quite badly. Yeah. So we'll yep. see. Yeah, definitely when when your offense starts falling apart, you start pulling it back a little bit and you, you kind of put the onus on your opponent to be the ones to create the big openings. Sometimes that's mm -hmm. a way to just be like, all right, well, do you have step two of this game plan, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think Bobby still kind of had it. I think like even up until the very yeah. end, he looked pretty good and it was like basically an SD that closed out that game. Um, mm -hmm. But it did look harder for him, right? Like he was no longer just kind of like outpacing SFAT, which he seemed to be doing in uh, the first game, at least in the first half of the second game. Uh, and see again, Ooh. like just not a very confident option there from SFAT going for the charged F smash to platform or to, to ledge after Bobby had already started the up B upward. Yeah. Um, oh, and then he gets the shine. Uh, it reverses, sending Bobby back to stage. Just feels like nothing's going SFAT's way right now. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow I... he takes the stock first yeah. anyway. This is actually kind of an SFAT classic too. He's he's never been the flashiest fox, you know? I think a lot of times people would always like describe the top level foxes and be like, Hax is the really fast one with all the shines. Levin's the really consistent one with all the fundamentals. SFAT's there. Uh, you know, like, Mango's <laughs> insane. Like, it's just like, he always has been just kind of quietly there winning matches. And here we're like, yeah, look, SFAT's just kind of fucking everything up as he takes the first stock and he's winning. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. And there we see another SD as fat. He actually uh, gets thrown off stage. He tries to make it clever with a Randall play, but Bobby's ready for it with a back air. And we're back to three stocks apiece. Yeah. Oh, the up yep. tilt beats out the up smash. That is not something you see every day. Yeah. Oh, great dash dance up smash. Looking like he's starting to find a little bit of that confidence. And it shows in his punish game, too, as he gets the shine back air that he actually missed earlier this game. But the Randall oh. shenanigans. Nobody's more prepared to fight on Randall than Bobby <laughs> Big Balls. <laughs> True. Oh, and he gets a crouch cancel shine. Bobby's still looking very confident, very in control, even as oh. SFAT's starting to wake up. It's yeah, these like... combos right now. Ugh. Jeez. He's racking up so much damage. He's using the top platform so well as it just becomes an extension of Falco's movement. It's basically just an extra air dash on this stage as he just flies mm -hmm. around. Oh, great oh, down air spacing. Oh! The wow, conversion to the edge guard. Yeah, yeah. Just give him his jump back. Can't cover the ledge, but Bobby's in firm control right now. Everything's working. Boom! Jeez. All right, three stocks to one. SFAT's going to have to do something pretty insane here. Oh, gets the back throw. Randall comes in for the assist. <laughs> Bobby the uses the lasers to just escort Randall to the ledge. Oh, he's schmoovin'! Too much! He's schmoovin'! <laughs> Randall making that very interesting. Yeah, And Esfat yep. gonna just close it out with a couple shines. All he right, took... Bobby, don't go too crazy now. You got it in the bag, but you don't have it in the bag yet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You've never okay, seen Bobby definitely... throw a lead. Or never, Bobby. never once. <laughs> SFAT definitely playing it a little slower, saying if you're going to take this set, you're going to have to create the onus yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And kind of Bobby doing the same, saying like, well, do you want to throw away the set first? And SFAT saying, no, I'm going to make you work for it. So mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. see kind of both players make an adjustment to the pacing of the match. Kind of just seems like the natural progression of the, the pacing, right? Like both mm -hmm. players understand what's at stake here right now, and they both kind of mm -hmm. take the necessary precautions. But Bobby, oh. Oh, oh, get up attack! Get up attack kills him. Okay. Okay. And he goes for the disrespectful shine that could have saved his life. <laughs> so Oh now it's the last stock situation again. Oh no, the shine! <laughs> SFAT hasn't pushed a button that's not down B in like two minutes. Yep. Oh and he finds a oh, drill God, grab, the, the shine misses! How does Bobby get up from the ledge? He lasers the wrong way, looking a little shook, but that's fine. Down air forward smash doesn't connect. The runoff back here does. Oh, oh, he goes that... for the dash attack. This is so painful. <laughs> it could go either way. Bobby feels like he's lost. Ah! <laughs> Bobby's movement definitely... looking a little worse right now, but it might not matter. Just needs one stray back air, but so does SFAT. SFAT does find it. He doesn't cover the ledge, but Bobby doesn't go there. Oh my god. This is so awkward ah! right now. <laughs> the shield standoff. Who's going to throw the back air first? 
neither player willing to go <laughs> oh, in at all. Oh, it doesn't Oh, and Bobby no. does find it. Oh, man. That's how it ends with a runoff down air, missed shine back air, finds the up air. What a way to end the set as we just find more and more ridiculous stuff for it to go on for like a minute straight. And Bobby's the one to find the conversion that leads to the kill, and he takes the whole set. Clean yeah, that stuff. Was... Very kind of unclean finish, but that's where the most human melee comes out, when both players are just <laughs> freaking out. Mm -hmm. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs>